winners and the um, honorable mentions. At first, well, hold on a second, Britt. I gotta take a drink. Hold on, <laughs> you know. Mm -hmm. No one drinks sexier than I do. Because even though Blake Shelton uh, holds a crown, I'm still. I will always be. Here's the thing. This is where we take a right turn. Put that on hold for a second, Britt. We're gonna announce this, the winners in a second. Here's the thing with the sexiest man alive. Everybody's been asking me, how do you feel about Blake Shelton? You know what? I feel great. Because the truth of the matter is, I will always be the sexiest man alive. The sexiest man alive is always going to be the six foot five, 260 pound, brown eyed soul. All right? So that's going to be me. Uh, very happy said that, um, he said, what you guys should do is treat it like the Highlander. And if Blake Shelton, one of the sexiest man alive, well, you got to find the rock and you got to cut his head off. So Blake, I'm waiting for you. So is my head. Uh, a lot of you guys out there might not know this, but Daddy, very famous country singer, Ricky Van Shelton, and uh, when I was a kid, uh, we used to listen to a lot of his music in the locker rooms. We were playing football at the University of Miami. We would go from like hardcore Miami DJ, DJ Uncle Al, straight up bass. Uh, we were dropping that shit in the locker rooms, and then we'd cut to Hank Williams Jr. and Rick. Come on in, say hello to everybody. Oh, I'm in there. Millions of people. There you go. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Britt Johnson. Hi, bro. Um, okay, thank you, Britt. Here we go. Uh, so this is, are you able to get this, Kristen? You got it. So this is one of our uh, honorable mentions. This was awesome. Uh, and just a little bit of context for everybody out there who, who don't. Um, was uh, I uh, challenge everybody to find something that's big in your life. Love this shot. Guys doing a big double bicep in front of a big ass pizza. Really creative. I hope you ate that. You better have dominated that. You better make us proud. Here we go. Oh, no. All right. Now, this is one of my favorites. It's a big girl with big shoes. This is definitely one of the winners. I just love this. Right now, she's like, I just want to play. They're I want to eat. Too. They are rock deltas. And that's another thing. So what she's wearing is very very cool because she's uh, she clearly has great taste. These rock deltas, by the way, let me just take a moment. Everybody out there, we did our U.S. DNA launch, our partnership with with um, with, uh, with Under Armour, and it was an incredibly successful launch since last week. These Rock Delta Deltas, as Britt has just pointed out, they're very special because they have. Um, they become the number one Under Armour shoe of all of 2017 in just a week out on the market. Been selling out all over the place in Australia, uh, you name it, all over Europe, here in the United States, just restocking and restocking. Um, the USDNA, this, this line was, um, was designed and inspired by the men and women of our U.S. military. So just want to say thank you guys so much. Um, okay, you're doing great, Brit. Yes. <laughs> Assistant here. Yes, you are doing amazing. <laughs> All right, so this, this is amazing. Uh, this is another winner. This is what looks like a, a wonderfully happy yet nervous couple in front of a gigantic real elephant. Now, what I love about this is... I'm an animal lover. I'm an animal. I was an animal lover before we shot Rampage, after Rampage, after spending so much time uh, uh, with the with the Diane Fossey Fund. Uh, regarding silverbacks and gorillas and down in the Atlanta Zoo, I became an even bigger animal lover 
after Rampage. So I love this shot. And if you come in one more time, come on in, Kristen, one more time. You can tell. I mean, that's a happy wife right Right there, and that guy's like, "Oh shit, please!" Yeah, I just don't. He doesn't. He doesn't want to be part of the news because every <laughs> once in a while, all these elephants are like, "I've had enough of." This shit. So I love this guy. Congrats, you got a lot of Project Rock gear coming. Coming your way. I love this because I love Christmas. And this is Albie Claus. He took a break from his 800 pound deadlifts and wrestling reindeer today. He's a big boy. I love Albie Claus. And, um, and you guys are getting some Project Rock here too. That's amazing. Uh, but here's the thing. You, you don't want to sit on Albie's lap. You don't want to sit on that lap right there. No. Not that he'd do anything appropriate. It's just it looks like he would eat you. Yeah. He's great. So he was clearly at a museum, and this is the what looks like the bottom portion of a uh, of the leg of a Tyrannosaurus Rex. And what I love about this, this kid, first of all, he's at a museum. I love it. He's expanding his post. See, here's the thing. I um I have a pet as a T Rex. Nobody knows this. Well, everybody knows this now because we're live. But I do, and I wrestle him every Friday night. You know, you're there. Yeah, and um, and we, we get drunk. Not she, she does. <laughs> So these boys got these army vehicles and they got on top of it and clearly they're having a good time. So look boys, you guys win. Uh, I'm gonna start Project Rock Gear and of course to all the boys and girls out there who are serving overseas, whether you're in a sandbox or whether you're wherever part of the world you're in, so much love and respect. So you guys win too. Britt, you're doing amazing. Thank you. You're very welcome. I love this. <laughs> so this is great. There's a, there's a cardboard cutout of my, uh, this man says his wife, healing in the world and and stay strong and you got some project rock gear coming your way and cardboard cut out there that's that's really cool have i told you you're doing great you, yeah. you're doing keep great. going you're doing love so it. good we love you Britt. all right so this is awesome too as well um so glee mcginley uh wants to do everything that she can to make this young man smile at every one of his cancer treatments and um you know what it looks like he's a redskins fan fan which is very cool so look I love this photo and um, you know a lot of times big meets big I, what I love about this it doesn't represent you know size or scale like our movie rampage uh, or like my head it just represents something much cooler which is somebody trying to make somebody uh, especially at a time where they're very challenged and, and they're and they're fighting so dude uh, fighting and stay strong you got some gear coming your way and um, and for you, Glee uh, McGlinley, um, well done. Good work. All right. This is phenomenal. I love this. So we have this awesome lady who is expecting, and, uh, and she's doing this cool thing. I could never figure this out, by the way. Like, I'm, I always try to do this shit, and it just it never works because the person's like, back up, DJ, lower your hand. Back up. Get it. I'm like, ah, oh, fuck this. I don't want to do this. Um, Anyway, congratulations on your baby. I think that's awesome. Uh, what a happy couple, and you look so happy. And anytime we see a baby bump, I know what you've been doing. That's very inappropriate. <laughs> Stop me, Britt, when I cross <laughs> yeah, the line. There's no control. <laughs> okay. What else we have? That is it. All right. So that was a lot more than 10, by the way. That was a lot more than 10. All right. Well, thank you, Britt, so much. You did, you're wonderful. Ladies and gentlemen, Britt Johnson. There she is. Yeah, uh, so that was a lot more than 10. I told you guys I was going to pick five, and the other ones were going to be honorable mentions. But you know what? Since it's, it's a season of giving, it's a big day. We're going to show the Rampage Trust, Dwanta Claus. I just don't have my Dwanta hat right now. Um, but I can sing. So, hey, Bill's name. There's a tree in the background. Um, I'm going to give everybody a project that's got 
big bags coming your way and you got some shoes coming your way. Thank you guys so much for uh, for participating in the event. All right, so uh, let's take some questions. We got any questions? We have First, a little snippet of your welcome, speaking of singing. Uh, somebody wants a little snippet of your welcome. Okay, <laughs> cool. How about this? Um, Let's see. Um, and I'm not, I can explain every natural phenomenon. The tide, the grass, the ground. That's all you guys need. I know. Thank you. Thank you. I'm assuming there's applause out there. So I'm saying thank you <laughs> so much. Thank you, Britt. Yeah. Look, I love that song, by the way. It's always such a fun song. Lin-Manuel Miranda, my good buddy, so incredibly talented. He wrote that song. Of course, he wrote all the music. Uh, for looking up, and they hear my voice. So there's, you can see the wheel spinning in their head, and they're like, <laughs> like Maui, that looked like scary man. That's <laughs> yeah, that's scary black man. That <laughs> it's the best. But thank you guys for the support. All right, what's the other question? There's a lot of love from Brazil. Everyone wants a shout. Christmas tree. I'm so early. Well, truth is, I love Christmas. 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 <laughs> I feel like Christmas all year long. By the way, if I could celebrate Christmas all year long, I would. Um, I kind of secretly do because I love giving stuff away, and I'm just you know, I always say. I often say it's not so Christmas, but I'm like, it's not the Christmassy thing to say, but I'm constantly reminding my team and employees, hey, like, let's, let's come on, let's give some shit away. <laughs> so, let's come on, let's give some shit away, guys. What can we give away? So, look, the moment Halloween happens, Christmas tree goes up. It's up. So, that's it. Plus, some Duana Claus. You have to, you know, you gotta have the Christmas. What's the most badass thing about Rampage? Hmm. The best thing about Rampage is, um, <clears throat> I think the most badass thing about Rampage is the fact that there's, for those of you who are familiar with the, uh, with the game, is there's not one, not two, but three gigantic mutated monsters that cause destruction and they go on a Rampage. Now, one of them in the narrative happens to be my best friend, who's a, who's a rare, gigantic, rare albino gorilla named George. Um, and, uh, you know, we have a 30 foot wolf and, and then I'm kind of giving, I'm going to give it away now, but it's okay. Cause we're getting ready to show you guys the trailer. Um, we have, <laughs> we have a crocodile <laughs> that, uh, that makes Godzilla, you know, just look like a little bitch. Listen, let, look, <laughs> I'm gonna hear from all my friends who, who make Godzilla. Our uh, the most, it, it is the, the goal with Weta Digital, and you guys, some of you guys out there know they're one of the best, if not the best, on the planet in terms of visual effects. They do, um, I mean, everything from. I mean, Avatar to Lord of the Rings, they, they were so inspired to create our monsters. And you will see George, uh, Ralph, who's our wolf, looks phenomenal as well. And, and Lizzie, Lizzie's the special one. Lizzie is this incredibly badass, angry crocodile mutated who is the size of a football field. Yeah. Let that sink in. <laughs> so there's a lot of badass things. You know who else is bad is Naomi Harris, who's my beautiful co-star. She is. Uh, uh, she plays a, a scientist working for CRISPR, and she just nails that role. Of course, you know she puts on uh, you know just a tremendous performance. And she was just nominated last year uh, uh, for an Oscar, so she's great. And everybody's badass in it. Uh, Jeffrey Dean Morgan. I mean, you name it. Malin Ackerman. Everyone's badass. Everyone's badass. The 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 six four two sixty you know the brown tattooed guy he's he gets a little iffy but everybody else is great. Couple more. Yeah, we'll do a couple more questions and then we're gonna give you guys the uh, gonna give you guys the trailer. Will, will you be back on SNL anytime soon? Loved you on it. Oh, thank you so much. I don't know um, if I'm going to be back. We're not scheduled to be back on Saturday Night Live anytime soon. I can't wait. By the way, I had the best time. I Love all those guys. All those guys are family.
Lauren Michaels, Lindsay. Uh, Steve, all, everyone is. I, I've done it five times. I've, I've been honored to be uh, inducted in the Five Timers Club, and I have the best time on that show because it's also. I, I started my career in a live platform in a live setting. Uh, even before I got to the big seventy-five thousand fan uh, kind of setting, I was wrestling in flea markets and fairs for you know in front of a hundred people, sometimes fifty people. So the idea of, of performing live is always something that's very special to me, and, and I love it. So I can't wait to go back. If we go back, it'll be number six, and you know what that means. Uh, are you excited? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Direct quote. Well, very, very excited about it. Um, Adam Ezekiel, I hope I'm not butchering his last name. He uh, he wrote Rampage for us, and he's also writing uh, Black Adam, the script for us. He has a phenomenal take on the universe of Black. He's very, very deep dived in his knowledge for years and years and years. So he came in with a great take. I know a lot of people are excited about Black Adam. I could not be more excited about Black Adam. Uh, couldn't be more excited to produce it. It has been here in my DNA for years and years. Hiram Garcia, of course, is going to produce it. Uh, so the next we're at right now in terms of the, in terms of the steps of development, Adam is going to go away. We expect him to turn in a phenomenal script. Everybody at Warner Brothers, and um, and then we're going to wait and see how the script comes in, and then. It gets, uh, and then we ratchet it up and we look for our director. Right now, we're actually looking for our directors, and uh, I can't tell you who we're talking to and looking at, but got some big uh, got some things, uh, coming down the road. But Black Adam, I cannot wait, I cannot wait. And, what, and also, just so you guys know, um, for all the comic book fans out there, what we're going to do, we're really excited. And again, the reason why it's taken so long, and that's been another question too by a lot of fans, is like, Jesus Christ, why is it taking so long? I know, but with something like this, you know, you always, you want to take your time and you have to consider everything and you just don't want to put a movie out there that, that's not going to stand the test of time, that's not going to feed and support the rest of the DC universe. I want to come in and help try and elevate things wherever I can, wherever Black Adam can. Uh, we're also excited we're going to introduce some new characters as well from the DC universe in a really cool way. Uh, I think you guys are really, really going to like it. So, um, so yeah, I think it's going to be great. Cannot wait for that. Black Adam. What else we got? Want to do one more? Let's do one more. Don't rat me up, Rick. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, for years, and she's like, hey, I think it's time. Or as we say in the hood, the gram. Um, let's see. Uh, so everybody out there, so all the winners who participated in the Big Meets uh, Bigger Challenge, you have all the Project Rock gear coming to, to you guys. Um, and to the thousands and thousands who participated who didn't get a chance to get uh, highlighted uh, on this feed today, thank you guys so much for participating. Thank you. I really, really appreciate it. It's always, you know, this is some of the best parts of my job is, you know, when we can connect with fans and you, we can have these fun little contests and you guys always show up, you always participate, you always have fun, you always are creative. Many of you uh, are inappropriate, but, you know, I can't show that shit. But I can appreciate it because I'm the same way. Uh, just not when the cameras are on. Uh, but yeah, so enjoy the gear. And um, you know, it's funny. Stay there. I'm just looking at this. Right now. Yeah, guys. So this is one of the new colorways that will come out next year. Uh, Under Armour just sent me these. So as always, one of my favorite two colors, black and white. Uh, I'm going to be destroying a brand new shoe that's getting ready to come out uh, next year, second quarter. Those will come out first quarter. I got to destroy them first. We got to re engineer them for you guys. Then we got a brand new shoe coming out uh, second quarter of next year. Anyway, that you guys are going to get that gear. You're not going to get the new shit. You're not going to get that. I got to take care of that first. Uh, Rampage I had a blast making the movie. Um, and uh, we all had a great time making the movie. But the best thing about Rampage is. Myself, uh, all the department heads, the studio, Warner Brothers, um,
New Line, uh, our director Brad Payton, our producers John Ricard, Bo Flynn, Hiram Garcia, um, the big brown ball tattoo guy. Uh, we all went into this project again with kid gloves on because we were aware of one that you know it's been tricky trying to um, uh, trying to adapt a video game into a movie and a lot of the movies of the past that were adapted from video games didn't always turn out that well so we wanted to take our time we wanted to do it right we had our kid gloves on and we considered every corner every step every move um, and even so to this day we had a big meeting last night on the phone with myself and our Producers and director Brad Payton, and we're and we're uh, and we're again just looking at where where can we make it better? Where can we make it better? So uh, um, we're all very excited, we're all very proud too, and also too. The last thing is just so you guys know with. You know, when I was I was living in Hawaii, grew up in Hawaii. A lot of my growing up was in Hawaii and throughout the South and Texas and, and Florida and, and Tennessee uh, and Georgia. But in Hawaii is where I spent all my time in these smoky pool halls when I was a punk teenager early, when I was 14 years old, 13, 13, 14 years old. 